In this video, I shall discuss the stereochemistry of coordination compounds having octahedral and square planar shapes. There are two types of stereoisomerism, geometric isomerism and optical isomerism. Square planar compounds do not show optical isomerism because there is always a plane of symmetry. Square planar complexes. There are four types available. These two types have no geometric isomers. The MA2B2 type, example diamine dichlorido platinum 2, has two geometric isomers. This one is the cis isomer where similar ligands are adjacent, and this one is the trans isomer where similar ligands are on the opposite sides of the central metal atom. Next comes the MABCD type, for example, amine bromido chlorido pyridine platinum 2, which has three geometric isomers. The amine ligand being trans with bromido in this isomer. The amine ligand is a trans with chlorido over here. And the amine ligand is trans with pyridine ligand in this isomer. Octahedral complexes MA6 type and MA5B types do not have any isomers. MA4B2 type, for example, tetraamine dichlorido cobalt 3 ion, has two geometric isomers. This is the cis isomer which can be drawn either way because in octahedral geometry, all the six ligands are arranged symmetrically. Here, the two similar ligands are adjacent and the molecule has a plane of symmetry and therefore no optical isomer. This is the trans isomer which can be drawn either way and the similar ligands are on the opposite sides of the central metal atom. Trans isomer also has a plane of symmetry and therefore no optical isomer. Next comes MA3B3 type, for example, triamine triaqua chromium 3 ion. It has two geometric isomers called FAC and MA. FAC isomers have three similar ligands on the face of the octahedron. MAR isomers have three similar ligands on the meridian of the octahedron. They do not have optical isomers because both of them have a plane of symmetry. Next comes MA2B2C2 type. For example, diamine dichlorido dien nitrito cobaltate 3 ion. This has five geometric isomers. One geometric isomer have amine chlorido and nitrito in transposition. This have a plane of symmetry. The next one have amine chlorido in cis position and nitrito in transposition. This one also have a plane of symmetry. The next one have chlorido nitrito in cis position and amine in transposition. This one also have a plane of symmetry. The next one have amine nitrito in cis position and chlorido in transposition. This one have a plane of symmetry as well. The fifth one have amine chlorido and nitrito in cis position. These have no plane of symmetry and have an enantiomer. So the number of isomers is six. Now the problem is to name the two enantiomers. The UPAC recommendation is as follows. Give priority to the ligands as per CIP rule. Highest atomic number get highest priority. The highest priority get the lowest CIP number. The ligand having the lowest CIP number will form the reference axis. Two such reference axes are there. Which one to choose? UPAC say that the other ligand of the reference axis should have the highest CIP number. So this one is taken as the reference axis and not this one. The other four ligands form a plane. Spot the ligand having the lowest CIP number in this plane. Draw two sequences, one clockwise and another anticlockwise from this ligand. See which sequence falls on the ligand having the lower CIP number. Take that sequence and discard the other. A clockwise sequence indicates that it is a C isomer. 
anti-clockwise sequence indicates that it is an A isomer. Next comes MAA to B2 type, where AA is a symmetrical bidentate ligand. Dichlorobisethylene diamine cobalt 3 ion is an example of such type. Three isomers are possible. The trans isomer has a plane of symmetry. The cis isomer is optically active because it has no plane of symmetry. This is the enantiomer of this cis isomer. These enantiomers are named by a convention which will be better explained when we come to MAA3 type, for example, trisethylene diamine cobar 3 ion. This has no geometric isomer but is optically active because it has no plane of symmetry. It has an enantiomer. By looking at the molecule, what thing comes to your mind? Yes, the molecule looks like a propeller. See this propeller very carefully. If this propeller is rotated clockwise, the fluid in front of the impeller is pushed downwards. This is a left-handed propeller and the molecule representing it is called the lambda isomer. The mirror image of this propeller is this one. When it is rotated clockwise, the fluid in front of the impeller is pushed upwards. This is called right-handed propeller and the molecule representing it is called the delta isomer. Again, we come back to the two optical isomers of MAA to B2 type complex. Following the same convention, this one is called the lambda isomer and this one is called the delta isomer.